yesterday. Here at Tanja after a uh, nice little workout here. What did you think of how your three ladies did out there? They did good. This was like our first day really doing some technical stuff. Um, like I told you, I've been kind of working on that series with Courtney to try to challenge her a little bit. Um, make her reach benchmarks. I don't usually use the watch as much, but I think it's in this shot. Uh, instance it's a good idea with her to try to push her. Um, Morla K looks good. That was her first time in block since USA. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we just wanted to do a little bit of um, 100 meter modeling with her. Ashley's been a bit dinged up, so um, this is like her second day back hurdling. So um, taking it easy a little bit, just letting her do easy 15 stride with a tailwind um, because we've been working on her 14 striding for the first two hurdles in competition. Um, if she runs this weekend, we probably won't do that yet, but um, we'll be working our way to it. And uh, how's the group coming along? Obviously, indoor season, you're really trying to you had some strong performances, more like a one, and Courtney got second. So kind of how are you taking that momentum from indoor and riding into outdoor? Yeah, they all, you know, had really good PRs indoors. Even Ashley in the 300, and she got injured right before that uh, national championship meet, so that would have been something she would have done too. Um, and with Courtney and Morla K, it was really exciting to see them be able. And I really wanted them to run indoors coming off of college, a collegiate season and being able to get those races and then kind of setting themselves up, running um, you know, in front of the USA people so they could get a chance to get to know them a little bit better so they can, can be a, a, a staple on the American team. So hopefully, um, you know, they uh, represented themselves well. And then also, you're not just coaching these three collegiates, you also have your, your Texas athletes uh, coming off of indoors. What, what, how do you, does the team regroup, and what's the goals that you guys set for this outdoor season? Um, you know, it's a, the landscape of the team looks totally different. You know, we have a lot of young, um, young uh, women on the team, and then the, the men's team is um, mainly seniors. So that whole team will look totally different next year in terms of the uh, sprinters. So with the ladies, we're just really trying to get them used to competing at a high level and a collegiate level. And, and having goals of qualifying for nationals and things stuff like that. So. And uh, what Texas Relays, the name Texas is in, it's in the home track meet opener. Mm -hmm. So what's the excitement for seeing the alumni come in and race in that meet and seeing your, your college athletes race? Yeah, it's actually a really good meet. We have a lot of really great post collegiates coming this, this go round. So it's gonna be a good meet. Um, looks like the weather's gonna be nice now. It was looking like Saturday was gonna be a little uh, wet, but um, there's there's great, um, but not anymore. It, so it's going to be good. I, I think it's going to be very very great. Cool. Any specific event you're looking forward towards most? The hurdles. The hurdles. I love watching the hurdles. <laughs> <laughs> They're individual races, but the hurdles. Um, and um, yeah, so th this meet I'm really excited about watching both of the hurdles. Cool. The hurdles well, best of luck at Texas Relays and beyond. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.